Prophet was no longer in front of the eyes of the companions of the Prophet Tomorrow, the grave of the Prophet will no longer be in front of our eyes. But there will be one day when you and I will go into the grave. Each and every one of us, this life is nothing. It's total clay. We are in this problem that sometimes we forget the real life when we go into that grave. And all our family will be crying. But then when they go away, we will be left alone. And then the angels will come and they will ask the question, what is your deen? What is your deen? Ma deenu. And then they will ask, what? Who is your Allah? Ma And then they will ask the question, and this has been described in many ways, but one of the ways that is described, that the, the veils that are between you and the Prophet Muhammad will all be opened up, will all be opened up in the grave, and you will see the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Tomorrow you will not go, no longer see the grave of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But when you go in the grave, you will see the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the angels will ask, "Do you know who this is?" And all those of us, all those of us who follow the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who had the love of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who created the love, who developed the love of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they will be able to say, "I know who this is. I know who this is." This is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the only reason, although you have not seen him, but you long to see him, that is why you will be able to give that answer that this is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the Rasul of Allah. He is the last messenger that was sent on this earth. I know who this is and because of your answers being correct, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open the doors of Jannah. Allah will, the, the, the winds of Jannah will start blowing into your grave. Today, we have this last opportunity to develop the love of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Go to the grave of the Prophet Go and give salams with utmost humility, with utmost love. Ask forgiveness from Allah that, Oh Allah, we have spent so many years, but when we are away from here, we do not even think of the Prophet We do not even think of his sunnah. How many times, how many days have passed when we have not read the rule of the Prophet Oh Allah, forgive us. Oh Prophet of Allah, we are here to ask that Allah makes you someone who will intercede for us on the Day of Judgment. We need his inter intercession, but intercession will not come easily. As I mentioned recently, there are 3 million people in Hajj. And when you are going around doing Tawaf, when you want to get to the Hajj Rasmus, you can't get to the Hajj Rasmus because there are too many people left. Then on the Day of Judgment, what do you think about the billions of people from the time of the Prophet until the Day of Judgment who will be part of his Ummah? How many people will be more closer to the Prophet than us? We will be even able to see him because we haven't developed that love. Only those people will be close to him who have developed the love of the Prophet. This is our last day. Make the most of our last day. Cry in front of Allah. Ask for the love of the Prophet. Follow the Sunnah. Make a promise to Allah that, oh Allah, from now on, every single Sunnah I learn, I will follow. When I go home, every single day I will read at least 40 Guru Sharif, 100 Guru Sharif on the Prophet. That will be part and parcel of my life. That will be part of my timetable. Yes, I might have to go to work at 7 o'clock and come back at 7 o'clock. But as part of my timetable, my love for Allah, my love for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam should be a priority. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala help us to develop the love of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala grant us the deep love of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 